Alrighty, so here's your examples for 1-6. Again, models popping back in. Uh, you can use them, you cannot. I just want to, we'll talk more about um, my my rules for it. I like that. The add op property means add the opposite. I don't usually deal with subtraction. Just a reminder what that looks like. So if I have negative 6 minus negative 2, you add the opposite. So you take a look here. Subtraction is going to become addition. Right, so first number stays the same. Subtraction becomes addition. And what is the opposite of negative 2? Positive 2. Some folks say, oh, well, look, these two together, you crisscross them, right? It's kind of the same thing. However it works for you folks, I'm good with that. However it makes it stick in your head, I'm good with that. Um, and now you can look and go, oh, well, I know the rules for this. Different sign, right? So I have to subtract them. There's more negatives. Boom. That's it. Need help? Need me to go through more? Please do ask. So pause here, go into Class Kick, work a couple of examples. Remember, I'll be watching, need help, ask, raise your hand in the app, whatever it takes. All right, I'll work these th uh, three for you real quick. And again, I'm going to do them the way I like to do them. So negative 7 minus negative 2. I think, okay, leave the first number alone. Oops, there we go. And then these two, right, go together and make the plus sign, or adding the opposite of negative 2, which is positive 2. Now I know the rules for adding. Different sign, so I subtract. There's more negatives, so it stays negative 5. B, we have negative 4 minus negative 3. So, leave the first number alone. Add the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. Different sign, so I subtract. There are more negatives. Then continuing, negative 8 minus a negative 5. Again, leave the first number alone. Add the opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. Again, different sign. So you have to subtract. There are more negatives. So negative 3. That's how I got those. Keep watching for another example for me. Here's that number line idea again. This one gets confusing to me. So I'm going to show you the way. Again, going back to the rules driven idea. So we have 3 minus 5. Leave that first number alone, so it stays 3. Make it addition. The opposite of 5 is negative 5. Notice that subtraction sign really kind of stays there. So that's what some folks kind of realize at some point. Oh, there's always like a little secret plus sign there anyway. There kind of really is, if you think about it that way. And now we can go back to the rules here. Different sign, right? So you have to subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. There are more negatives. That's how we get our negative 2. So go ahead and go into class kick. Again, work a couple more. I'll be watching. Alrighty, so checking on these. You can see the answers, so if you've got them, you can fast forward. Um, if not, just watch, and I'll work those for you real quick. So 4 minus 8, leave the first number alone. Becomes plus a negative 8. Again, there's a like, secret little plus sign, maybe. Different signs, so I'd subtract. 8 minus 4 is 4. There are more negatives. Same thing here. Negative 1 become, or minus 5 becomes negative 1 plus a negative 5. Same sign. Woohoo, finally. You add them, become 6. They're all negatives. And the last one, C here, leave that first number alone. And now these two, if you have two negative signs, you can make them into plus, right? So the add the opposite is adding. The opposite of negative 7 is positive 7. Now you go back and think about the rules. So you kind of like rules and then more rules, right? These have different sign. So you subtract 7 minus 2 is 5. There are more positives. So there you go. We're going to do a bunch of practice. Don't worry. Keep on watching for more examples from me. Alrighty. So again, back to the rules-driven idea, right? This kind of makes more sense of it. Um, in January 1916, that's like, I don't know, maybe the year I was born, right? Um, the temperature, not really, I'm not that old. The temperature in Browning, Montana dropped 100 degrees overnight. That's kind of awesome. I hope you didn't forget to leave the dog out. The initial temperature was 44 degrees. What was the final temperature? So we say that 44 minus 100 degrees. These guys have different signs, right? So we're really going to subtract. You can think about it as 4 plus a negative 100. So you can subtract 100 44, sorry. There we go. 100 minus 44 is 56. If you don't believe me, you can work that out. There are more negatives, so it becomes negative 56. Yeah, the dog got frozen to the ground. Hopefully you didn't leave your dog out. Pause here, going to class kick. 
work a couple I have for you. Alrighty, so find the difference. So 32 minus, so let's, I'll write that first one out. 32 minus negative 3, leave the first number alone. These two work together, right? So 32 plus 3. Well, same sign, that's an easy one. Add them, 35, it's positive. B, negative 40 minus 66. So that again, if we apply that add out property, however you want to think about it, negative 40 plus a negative 66 means I add them. They're going to be negative, by the way. 40 plus 66 is 106. There's that. And 2 minus 48. So I've got 2 plus a negative 48, if you like to think about it that way. That's, again, the way I like to do the add up property. That's an 8, I promise, my lovely handwriting. So anyway, we're going to really subtract here. It's going to be negative because there's a lot more negatives, right? So 48 minus 2 is uh, 46. So we get negative 46. And then D, the lowest temperature ever recorded on the moon. Well, I wonder who went there for that. But anyway, it was about negative 170 degrees Celsius. 170, I think that's what I said, yeah. The lowest temperature ever recorded in Antarctica was negative 89 degrees Celsius. What is the difference in temperatures? So we're going to set that one up. Let me get these other things out of the way here real quick. Here we go. So to set that one up, uh, we're going to say negative, oops, just a second. We're going to say negative 170 minus negative 89. That's really what we're going to do here. Negative 170, so leave that first number alone. Sorry, I like crossing my sevens, I don't know why. Add out property, so plus a positive 89. Now, <laughs> they have different signs, right? So we're back to subtracting anyway. Um, so once we do that, so 170 minus 89 is, we got to borrow and all that fun, right? So is 81, and there's more negatives, so it's going to be negative 81. Don't forget to label, degrees Celsius. There we go. There's that one for you. Uh, you have some homework on this. Grab the worksheet up front. Get to it. Yeah, the answer key probably in the class kick, so don't forget to check it when you're done.